Well, now to a story you'll only see on local 10 news here. A cop now under investigation because of what was seen in this photo here. That picture was taken after Miami police made a big bust. Yeah, but now top brass are investigating after taking a closer look. Local 10 news reporter Glenna Milberg is live with the exclusive. Glenna. It was that photograph, that snapshot, that moment in time. Some here in the department saw a racist message. It sure did raise a lot of eyebrows and that internal investigation into this officer's intent. They posed for a job well done Friday, guns taken off the streets. Then a commander posted the pics on Twitter and someone expanding the photo saw the officer at the end flashing hand signals that some consider a white power message. So I, th I think, you know, like I said, it, this was meant to be private between him and his six guys. He says the fingers mean six, the number of colleagues on a shift, not white power. This Miami's police private. union president told us he had talked to Officer Daniel Ubeda just before he spoke with us. Did he know that that hand signal could be construed as a white supremacist hand signal? I, I think this signal he knows. But this is, 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 I mean, in our opinion, a whole different signal. Take a closer look. What some in the department saw was, according to the Anti-Defamation League, the innocent OK gesture co-opted four years ago by racists as WP for white power. We've seen it flashed at a Florida Trump rally, at a Marlins Cubs game by a fan since banned, and at Justice Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation hearings by his former aide, who is Jewish and Mexican, and called the backlash about her resting hand repulsive. But back to Officer Ubeda. He is the same Miami officer who went to vote last fall wearing this face covering and was eventually reprimanded for political messaging while in uniform. This time, the police chief says he was relieved of duty Sunday and an internal affairs investigation is ongoing. That tweet, the original tweet that has since been deleted, those photographs deleted off Twitter and the commander's Twitter feed has since been made private. The union would like you to know that both that commander who posted it on Twitter and Ubeda's uh, immediate supervisor, that those two supervisors in Miami Police Department are both African-American men and, according to the union, have never raised any issues with Daniel Ubeda. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami tonight, Local 10 News.